So I'm here at the Slide Ski Industry Trade Show with Mike from Head. And uh, Mike, one thing that people perhaps maybe overlook or don't think about so much with the buy a pair of skis is the bindings, but it's actually well, it's one of the most important bits. Isn't yeah, it? absolutely. And you know, we obviously get excited because we go and we buy our ski boots and we buy our skis, yeah. and we never actually remember the thing that connects the two. Yeah. Bindings are an amazing, amazing technology, and since DIN was invented, leg, lower leg fracture injuries have basically disappeared. Yeah. yeah. So the the idea of DIN is an international standard, which and DIN basically is, DIN is the number that you set your bindings. Yeah. So or, your or binding detects. setting yeah. number yeah. is this magic DIN thing. Yeah. But it is actually a, a force, Newton meter force. It's actually all done with proper maths by yeah. proper adults. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And the idea is that you get your binding set correctly. So if you don't know and you just go to a rental shop, they're going yeah. to ask you these weird questions about your height, your weight, and how good you are. Yeah. But that's why, because it's the maths and it's to do with leverage and everything else, so that the ski does two jobs. He's done. Keeps you in it yeah. and spits you out when it's meant yeah. to. But since the invention of DIN, bindings, I mean, there's lots of cool bindings and there's lots of technology mm. move forward with bindings, um, but not really any that have moved forward with safety. No. So what this is, is this is a full heel release binding. Okay. So 90% of injuries in knee injuries are from what we call a slow backwards twisting fall. Yeah. And everybody knows somebody who's fallen backwards, twisted their knee. Unfortunately, that's when you pop your cruciate ligaments. Yeah. If you take any binding, it'll have a, a release value of about 40, 45 degrees. Yeah. This one has a release value of 180 degrees. That's insane. So how it works is there's actually three settings. Yeah. There's one on the heel here, one here. And literally, if you're skiing and you do have body weight through your, your heel, the binding can move a maximum of seven mils and then spit you out. That's brilliant. So the whole thing is DIN certified, all three settings, obviously. But it means that at any position, it pushes and then rotates. Yeah. There's no other binding in the world that has bilateral, so it moves in both directions, yeah. but also will have a heel release under full body weight. Yeah. That's really something. Um, you, you, well, we've just never seen this before. No, it's totally brand new. Absolutely. Um, it's incredible. Yeah. And, and it is, like I say, it is something that, you know, when we buy our skis and our boots and our kit, you kind of overlook, you don't think about the bit. It's the safe bit, really. No, and, no. Um, and it's a safety thing. And the, the, the difference with this is actually we've taken the risk of a lower leg injury still with DIN certification yeah. of a toe and a heel piece. But now we're actually protecting your knees as well. Yeah. So we've, you know, we're actually creating more protection. Brilliant. So that's the whole recommended by your knees thing. Fantastic. Recommended because by it's, your knees. Because it's all done with DIN certifications. There's one little thing about it that folk get a bit worried about. They talk about this thing called pre-release, yeah. which is when your boot spits out when it's not meant to. Yeah, yeah. There's almost no such thing as pre-release because if it spits you out, it's because you did something that was meant to do. So right. pre-release doesn't happen that mm, often. It's mm, quite rare, but it, mm. it's one of those phrases that gets overused. Yeah. People worried about this for pre-release. The brand ambassador, or one of the brand ambassadors for this, is Didier Kush. Who is a big, heavy, thick set. Olympic gold, medalist, Olympic gold medalist, crystal globe winning, you know, Swiss yeah. ski legend. And what they did was they stuck a set of these on a GS ski and sent them around Zermatt for three days. Really, yeah. And he couldn't beat it. No. So therefore, mere mortals exactly. will be all right. Exactly. Mike, thank you. It's the head protector. Uh, Google it. Um, recommended by your knees. And just to say also as well, we've been pushing this with our thumb, Mike, but this is only the demonstration. Yeah, yeah. We make, we make up demonstration boards. <laughs> yeah. So this one does have a slightly weaker spring in it. Yeah. Just because if we spend all day doing that, I'd end up with no thumbs. So, so there's no way with my fingers I'm pushing no. this on DIN setting 13. Absolutely not. No way. So it is, is just, for this the, is just the demo exaggeration tool. Exaggeration for the demo tool. Yeah. But. To really show off the technology and make sure that people get that message and get it out there. Yeah, it's a great bit of kick. Go and ask your local ski shop about these.